Hey, it's Angie with News OK. And Becky. And Becky is our recipe for health food columnist for the Oklahoman and NewsOK.com. Now, the recipe that she is doing today for your Table to Your Health series that she is doing uh, has to do with protein, a vegetable protein. It is a vegetable-based protein, yes. We're doing a garbanzo bean and peanut soup. We're doing actually a couple of things, and this is one of them, because we want to let people ha see how they can use vegetable-based oh. proteins for a meal. That's great. Yeah. Okay. And this is a simple one to fix. We start out with, I've got just a little bit of oil okay. in my skillet and I'm turning the heat up here to a medium heat. I'm just going to let that get warm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add some fresh ginger. And I wanted to show, mm -hmm. this is what ginger root looks like. Yeah. And it's such a wonderful fresh flavor. You take this peeling off just with a vegetable peeler and then dice it like so okay. or mince it. I've got my onion, mm -hmm. just diced onion, and I'm going to go ahead and add my ginger, and we're going to let this cook just a little bit, a couple of minutes, mm -hmm. three or four minutes maybe until it's tender. Okay. So we've got this cooking here. I can hear it sizzling. Can hear the sizzle, and uh, we're going to let this cook just a little bit longer, and then I'm going to add um, chicken stock. And we're using the reduced sodium chicken oh, stock. Yeah. Wow, that smells wonderful. It does. It? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add one and a half cups of my chicken stock. The recipe calls for two cups. We'll use the other half a cup okay. um, here in a minute with the rest of the recipe. And I'll just pour part of this in here to give me about one and a half cups okay. in here. And then I've got curry powder that I'm going to add and a little bit of cumin. And so that'll be our seasoning. So simple to fix. Okay, now, while this is cooking, we're going to um, work on the rest of our soup. We've got yes. um, garbanzo beans that we've got in the blender here. Yes. Okay, so we need to let this cook for about 10 minutes. That, 10 minutes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, so uh, this is still cooking right now, but what are we gonna do with the blender? Okay, we have our garbanzo beans in here, and that's um, one can of garbanzo beans, and okay. you put the liquid in also. Mm -hmm. We've got creamy peanut butter. Mm, yum. I know, it just gives it that, such a rich, nice flavor. Mm -hmm. And we'll get all this in there. Okay. And then, remember our other half a cup of our chicken stock that yes. we had? Yes. We're going to add this at this point. And Angie, if you'll hand me the lid, mm -hmm. um, we'll put the lid on here, and then we're going to blend this just until smooth. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add our onion mixture that we've got here. Doesn't this smell wonderful? I know, it does. This is a real simple, simple recipe. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, it would be if people wanted it a little bit spicier, they could use more seasoning or mm -hmm. less, whichever they might prefer. Okay. Let's put the lid back on, Angie. And we'll pour this in our bowl. Mm -hmm. And um, then let's see, here we go. And then I'm going to garnish this with a little bit of paprika. Mm -hmm. Just a little there for color. Now this is just the first part of the recipe, is that yes, right? Yes, it is. Okay, we've got part two coming up. Now we are on uh, the sequel, part two of the recipe, and we obviously have a wonderful meal. She's going to make a wonderful salsa to go along with it. Tell yes. us about this. This is a black bean and corn salsa. Again, very simple to make. We've got some fresh lime juice and just a little bit of oil. And then we have some seasoning we're going to put in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this a good little mix. And then we're gonna add our vegetables. And we've got the corn. This is unsalted corn. Uh, people can either use uh, frozen corn or they can use the canned unsalted. Just drain it really well. Okay. Bell pepper. And again, you if you don't have red pepper, use orange or use green. You know, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I like the red. I just think it looks really festive. It does. And then the black beans. These are canned black mm, beans that I, I like have rinsed beans. very well okay. and drained um, so that you don't have all that dark liquid. Okay. And then we're going to add our cilantro to it. And uh, again, more or less. We have our baby butter lettuce. We have the green yes. and we have the red. You see the green right here, yes. which is so pretty. I wanted to let people see how it looks both with the green and the, the 
purple or the red. Okay. And we're just going to put some of this salsa on there like that. Drizzle that on. And there you go. Oh, that is beautiful. Gorgeous. So now you can kind of see a little bit of both of them. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's so pretty. So this would accompany the soup. It could, or it could be served with a sandwich, or it could be, uh, you know, it could be served in a variety of different ways, but we're serving them together. Okay, here is our beautiful meal. This mm -hmm. is gorgeous. Tell us what we have. Well, this is actually the red butter lettuce mm -hmm. with our salsa over it and then this is just the very same the type green. of lettuce but it's with the green mm -hmm. and you can see the salsa looks beautiful it with does. both of them. Oh it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. And so simple to make and then this is our garbanzo peanut soup to go like I said, either to go with it yes. or it could be served as a, a side dish to go with another meal. And this is a great idea because, you know, like she was saying, this is a different take on protein. It's yes. a vegetable protein. It's a great way yeah. to be able to work vegetable proteins in. Um, and a lot of people, you know, a couple of times a week to be able to have a vegetable-based protein That's is great. a great way to add variety and That's you're true. adding more vegetables to your diet as well. That's true. This is beautiful. Well, I'm sure you're all curious about this recipe. I know I am. This looks delicious and trust me, I want I'm going to taste it as well after the video is done. <laughs> um, but check out the Oklahoman in the life section, the recipe for health from your table to your health food column by Becky Varner for this wonderful recipe, delicious how to make it, and the health benefits of these wonderful foods right before us. Obviously, you've got your protein and your vegetables, and it's delicious. This looks great. Thank you so much. Oh, Angie, thank you.